hello all you coaster maniacs out there. Hey, coaster Floyd here, and I am here at Six Flags Over Texas. Yeah, I'm, I wasn't even planning on filming that trashy ride there, but it's Colonsa Coasterthon. So anyway, this is day one. Day two, unknown at this point because 80% chance of rain is in the forecast. So we will know for sure later on today if and if not it will happen if if it will happen i'll be totally surprised but if it's not then i'm going up at water so anyway it's a great morning for saturday and i'm ready to get this thing started this is my second coaster's on to ever be attending and i'm excited to get this thing on so anyway if you want to see some more one star Custard on goodness, you gotta come along the ride with us. Come on in, come on. We're over, we're over here waiting for registration. But one update that I actually found out about is that they have painted Six Flags Over Texas the letters all new again. Love the upgrades, making all. And there's Kim over here. So yeah, love the upgrades, the front entrance. Man, this music is really killing me, but take a look at this badge here. So this badge is representing the two rides celebrating big anniversaries. Shockwave will be turning 45 this year, and Mr. Freeze will be turning 25 this year. So this whole thing is all based off of anniversaries. And the shirt this year, which I have it in my backpack, it represents the 45th anniversary of Shockwave. So anyway, we are all over here waiting to get into the park and then your tea should be starting very soon. Alrighty, so I'm in the park, although I had some problems trying to get in there. Password and scan correctly. It's just all that stuff. And all my party is already in Gotham for breakfast or as we speak. So anyway, I'm in. It's any day, of course. Not gonna be so much of that tomorrow. So anyway, oh yeah, I'm ready to get this day started. Yeah, very beautiful out here today. Yeah, ready to ride some more Aquaman today. Yeah, beautiful weather to ride Aquaman. So yeah, really not that much has changed around here. Yeah. Yeah, probably not that much, but it looks nice and lovely, as always. Uh, yeah, just a bit of a walkthrough. It's just nothing too special to see. They have cut off friends since the park's not open yet. So anyway. Hey, yeah, hey, hey. Anyway. So yeah. I'm not sure if the lockers are functional as of yet. So, the lockers on Aquaman, no clue at all. So, yeah. We have no clue if they have, yeah, I don't think they have them open now, but it will be soon. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually see those things here. This is the place where you can actually get some of those cards at. So yeah, well, they got them functional. I can see some of the red stuff on there. So yeah, they got them functional. That's good. I'm not sure if they're open as of yet, but hopefully they will soon. We'll keep you up to date. Now on the Gotham. All right, so as we make our way over to Pandemonium, you can actually see some additional flags that have been added. Also some balloons here. Love the additional decorating. They really went all out for Boomtown here. I love it. Looks, looks amazing with an extra touch. All righty, so our next, our first ever ride for ERT is Riddler. I so prefer the one for Joker back at Fiesta, Texas, but this will do anyway. But anyway, 
Let's go take a ride on the question mark ride. I got done with Riddler. First ride of ERT is done. Fun ride, but one notable change that I actually found out. There's a fence there. I don't even know where the Dippin' Dots is. Turn out and here it is. <laughs> so basically, they have changed the Dippin' Dots location for that old bell, whatever that thing is, game over there. So that's basically a new location and over here, I don't even know where, where that fence is. I don't even know what they're gonna do with it. But anyway, that's there now. So, yeah, on with the next ride. Our next rides, next up, is Freeze and Batman. Oh uh, yeah. So, there goes Freeze going up on there and chopping down. But you know, I'm gonna go do Freeze first. Uh, yeah, so part of the Coasterthon theme, the uh, two rides are going to be celebrating big anniversaries, like well-known ones, Shockwave and Freeze, Shockwave turning 25, Shockwave turning 45, so anyway, yeah, I'm ready to ride some stuff, anyway, let's go do Freeze right now. If they finally shut that TV um, off for somebody to keep on breaking that. Alright, Jeff, they're not moving back to I don't think you can see any damage. I think you can see a little bit of it, but. Oh, I. Yeah, I see it. It's right there. Oh. Yeah. Glad they got it off. My gosh. One notable change in the freeze queue is that they got the lights working. Dang! Alrighty, so I just got off my two rides on the freeze. Fun ride, I love it so much. Now, we're gonna go do my favorite water ride, Aquaman Power Wave. Let's go. So, got my good friend Tyler with me. Yeah, he is from San Antonio. And, yeah, I have known him since 2019. My first ever visit in a very, very long time. Before the, before this year's visit, yeah, known him for quite some time. So anyway, let's go get wet. And as you can see, coming down this way is Brian, y'all. What up, Brian? Yo, yo. What's up? Coaster Floyd, what's happening, buddy? Doing good. Doing all right? Yeah. You going to get your ERT on Aquaman? Yeah, we're on our way. Okay. Big Daddy B Vlogs, everyone. Yeah, I, mean, I was just telling, I was just yeah. telling my vlog, all yeah. the times that I've ridden it, okay, mm -hmm. I'm the very back. Get a yeah. little spray, you're good. Yeah. There were two young men that wanted to sit in the back, uh -huh. so I switched seats. One seat in front of the back. Huge difference. Wow. I got soaked, man. <laughs> One seat makes a difference, y'all. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. No of course. All right. Man, be yeah. Good, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Aquaman Young. Let's go get our rides in. Okay, I got wet. Front row ride is done on Aquaman. Fun ride. Yeah. Ran it with Tyler Lorenzo, which was his first time riding the ride. A fun experience for a first time rider. And yeah, we're just about to go take a ride in on Judge Roy's Scream. And we only got like a little time before our freeze tour starts at 10.30. So anyway, let's go ride the Judge. Let's go. Our next ride is the Judge. Yeah, I love this ride for all my life. Let's go take a ride on it, shall we? Just got done with my back row ride on Jet Roy Scream. It wasn't really that bad this time, so yeah. So yeah. A good old fashioned wooden roller coaster can really go a long ways. And then looky here. Buses are starting to roll in. They're pretty much questioning how can that get to have to fight it in? We don't. You should have attended our event. Come on now. So anyway, we're gonna go take our new ride on Freeze before the behind the scenes tour begins. Let's hit it. 
All right, so we're back at Freeze for our last ride for this morning year tea. But look who's here. Joker is in the flesh. Let's go ride it. All right, so our last morning year tea ride is down Freeze. Awesome launch forwards up at the front. So yeah, good ride as usual. Alrighty, so as we know, we are waiting for the Jits tour. I'm gonna go take my ride on the Sky Screamer. Let's go 400 feet and start flying all over the place. Alright, Sky Screamer is really good. Good views as always. And I actually got to see the drop tower from Hurry Playland at Trader's Village from all the way out there. So, anyway, the tour is supposed to begin at noon and that is where i'm going to be getting a lot of footage and a lot of shots at so cannot wait my gosh yeah 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 there's sergio up there sergio what's up yeah far out so anyway yeah, he's waiting on the tour to begin. So anyway, yeah, I'm off to get a front row right on Judge. Let's go. All right, two rides in a row on Judge Roy Scream. A great ride for a classic oldie wood roller coaster. Look is here, y'all. We got Sylvester and Porky. What's up? What's up, Porky? What's up? What up, y'all? All right, as we were coming over to El Sombrero, <laughs> look at the paint. It is so gorgeous. It is coming along so well. And also, here's some Viva La Fiesta stuff that I didn't even cover. That is awesome. So yeah, take a look at this. So it's gonna be blue, orange, red, and yellow. That is gonna be the new colors for El Sombrero. And then of course, look underneath, they painted it all blue or purple, whatever. So good. Very, very cool. Let's get around and see how it looks like on the hat. Oh yes, it looks phenomenal. Look at this, it looks awesome. And as you can see here, we have made it to the Texas section of the park. And then as we swing our way over here, we are actually gonna be getting a new dining option. Cinnabon will be arriving in the park very soon. That is replacing Miss Abby's, so. Very unfortunate for Miss Abby's, but Cinnabon, it is just about to arrive here at Six Flags Over Texas. Alrighty, so I just got done eating lunch with Katie and everyone. We ate over at Baba's Hot Dogs right now. So we are just about, and Marshall is on the train today. So anyway, I'm gonna go get my riding on Giant and Titan. So, uh, I will check in with y'all in a little bit. And then as you can see here, I don't think you can pick that up, but as you can see the water going, boom one's back up and again. Hooray! And I see someone stuck on the lift hill. Let's see if they're gonna ever carry that down. That's only for a matter of time. So, yeah, yeah, I'm very happy to see Flim 1 running again, so, yeah, and Flim 1 is among one of our after hours ERT rides for this evening, so, I don't think it's going to go down. Yeah, it's just an it's just an indication 
Bloom one is back open again. So anyway, the original is back. Let's go. I am wet. Yes, I am. How did I get wet? I don't know, man. So anyway, I got off of the Lissadero Flame 2. I was going to go with Titan, but one of my friends of mine said it had a bit of a long wait, including Flash Pass. So that's a pain in the butt, but that's okay. I am on my way to Runaway Mountain right now to get my ride in because according to tomorrow's ERT, which will not happen, tomorrow's ERT includes Justice League, Aquaman, Pandemonium, and Runaway Mountain. So I gotta get through those rides because I don't think I'm coming back tomorrow. Yeah, because I think I think day two is most likely gonna get canceled due to the weather. So anyway, gotta get some rides through, you know? I'm on my way to Runaway Mountain to get my ride in. I will talk to y'all soon. Alrighty, so I just got done with Runaway Mountain. Yeah, it's a fun ride. It took me a little bit to get on it though. Bit of a long wait. But well, what you expect going on a Saturday? It's gonna be very, very busy with that freaking over 200 tons of students here. So anyway, yeah, it's here. And now all of us are waiting to go into Casa Magnetica for a hands-on tour. So without further ado. Subscribe with Mad Mike Disney. Yeah. You'll see some Disney. Disney yeah, soon. yeah, they're coming. They're going to Disney during the Halloween event, and be sure you subscribe to Mad Mike and Sci-Fi Dude One for all of what they have to offer. So anyway, alrighty. So before dinner starts, which is about three thirty-four, and dinner doesn't start till about the next couple hours, I'm gonna start knocking out some rides while I'm here in this area. So. I'm gonna get back on Justice League Battle for Metropolis again since I'm right around the area. And since this ride is a part yeah, of ERT for tomorrow, and the park is unlikely gonna be open tomorrow as well, I think I might as well go ahead and take care of it. So, yeah, let's get our low scoring on on Justice League. Let's go. 444 300. So, it wasn't the best that I've done, according to my log ride category and all, but it was still a good ride. Still quiet as heck, but still, yeah, we're gonna go, wait, I'm not wrong way, there we go, pandemonium. We're gonna hit up pandemonium next. So, just sleep, good ride, on to the next ride. All right, I'm inside a microwave oven right now, Batman, so, Pandemonium was good, and now I'm here, Batman. You pretty much know how it goes and everything else, but here we are at Batman the Ride. All right, I got Batman done. So I accomplished all I needed to accomplish here at Gotham, or shall I say Gotham. Good ride, it's just the line over there, it's atrocious. All the way on Gotham City Park in the queue, outside queue. It's awesome. It's awful. Good thing I got my lanyards, which is in my bag, because I do not want to carry it on an upside down ride now. So, anyway. So, anyway. I'm going to head my way over to Superman. Get my ride in. And again, I'm so. That gate over there. I am so used for it to be an open area and stuff like that and it's just a lot of things has changed so i'm all over here going around and tech off in games it's just everything so anyway i'm gonna head my way into tower knock out superman and shockwave and knock out titan for whatever i can before dinner tonight all right, I'm going to go ride and push the Floyd out of here. And of course, as we see here, it is still down. Yeah, but hopefully it won't be too long until they reopen it 
They are still in the process of doing renovations to the ride. I'm hoping for maybe a late May reopening? Maybe. But we'll see what happens. And I bet you know where I'm at. I'm at Superman Tower of Power. So yeah. So yeah, Superman Tower of Power is supposed to be among one of the it's supposed to be among one of the ERT rides for late tonight. But I'm having to ride it today because I haven't ridden it all day. So let's let's go do Superman. Let's roll. Also I must say, they are really boosting the capacity up on this one. They are actually running three towers as this one's going down this one's about to go up and this one's already unloading kudos to y'all this is awesome boy and that's so unusual here there used to be a jacob's ladder inflatable game underneath that shade but now it's being used as a picnic shade very unusual Alright, the next coaster that we are at today is Shockwave. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, the whole theme for Lone Star Coaster Thon this year is all about Shockwave. Yeah, about Shockwave and Mr. Freeze. Both being one of the most iconic rides in the park. Shockwave entirely being the icon. Someone got the phone out! Please put it away! I don't know why it stopped it, but yeah. So, yeah, the whole theme for Lone Star Coaster Thon this year is Shockwave. Yeah, as it keeps on saying on the main flyers, because this year the ride will be celebrating its 45th anniversary this year, as I explained in the video earlier. So, yeah, I love this ride. Love some backseat goodness. Let's go give it a ride. Got a train going up on the lift right now. Let's go take a spin. Five, four, okay, so I, I'm just seeing things right now. Is it repainted or what? I think they must have repainted the whole station again. If they did, it looks so good again. Amazing. So yeah, so yeah, I think they must have repainted the whole station. I love it. Yeah, they did. Wow. I love it. So, so beautiful. All right, so I just got down with Shockwave. Pretty fun shorts about. Yeah, lots of GeForce laterals and stuff on there. Very fun shorts about. And it is celebrating its 45th anniversary this year. So, yeah. And that repaint in the station, I had no idea that they were going to repaint it. It looks fantastic. So, I really love the enhancements done on Shockwave. Now, if they could just repaint the whole freaking coaster, though, seriously. Come on. But I'm pretty sure it is coming soon. Hopefully. Eventually. But, yeah. We'll see. So it is 4.51. We gotta head over to the picnic pavilions for dinner, auction, Q&A, all that stuff. Let's go. What the heck is that? What the heck is that? The slush factory's gone. Why do they have to get rid of it? We're starting to love the thing. Although it is temporary. Oh well. Slash Factory is no more to be seen in this whole area. Gosh. Whatever. Whatever. Let's just head on over to Titan then. Boy, something just... Mm, something does not look good on Titan. Put your phones away so people can enjoy all the fun in the world. And if you do not want to... I know, right? Come on, guys. Put your phones away. Hey look y'all, it's the Easter Bunny. It has to be. Hey. It always has to be. 
Hello, Peter Rabbit. What's up? Lovely Bugs Bunny. <laughs> yeah. So you've been doing fine, haven't you? That's good. Bugs been good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where's Lola? Fine. Where's Lola? I don't know. Lola's We're in the world. Come on. Yeah. Take it easy, okay, buddy. See you later. Bye. Alrighty, y'all. So here's what's on the menu for the auction. Oh, Looney Tunes Kitty Swing Set. Oh wow. Finally, they're finally getting rid of that sign that was been on display. Oh yeah. Graffiti is defacing six watch property. Violators are subject to park ejection. That's it. That's an open feed side. Oh, that's cool. That must be for the 80s. Something like that. Wow. These are some old. These are some old signs here. Aquaman alignment and that's cool. Titan lift helper. Oh wow. New Aquaman Ellison Mountain. Oh wow. Old Texas Giant lap bar mountain plate. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the brake cylinder shaft and Titan. Over here, we got the Joker kicker fence. Whatever that is. You know what this is? That is amazing. Let's go into the other side. There's more. Ah. Okay. Okay, so over here. Well, this from. This is from Astro World. Oh wow! So, yeah, this is the Excalibur brake cylinder from Astro World. That is so sick. Judge Roy Scream lap bar return spring. Wow! This is Superman cable clevis. That's cool. Conquest Tater lap bar shot. Old Aquaman lift board. Whoa. Look at that. Yeah, this is the lift board of Aquaman. Splash down. Superman she bearing? Oh, that's cool. Over here, we have the Joker road wheel pen. Over here. We have the Joker lift chain. Also, we have the original Joker guide wheel pen. So yeah, we have the mine train triangle and the original mine train up step brass. That's cool. The sky cluster lock. Oh, that's cool. That's so sick. Moving on. we have here is the Riddler loading platform wheel. First generation free fall load wheel. So this is from Wildcatter. Bob sled road wheel. Titan upstop wheel. Batman guide wheel. Yeah. <laughs> we have the shockwave guided upstop oh, wait, wheel. We have an old Aquaman guide wheel, new Texas Giant wheel, wow, and a flashback and boomerang rope wheel. Sick. And as we come over here, whoa, okay, Six Flags Texas Giant memorabilia, wow, dude. Yeah, this is, this is what you call an old sign. This is an old Texas shootout sign here, y'all. 
This is insanely huge. Oh my gosh. And then here's the Texas Giant entrance. I'm not even gonna fit that in my room. This is insane. My gosh. So anyway, that's what's on the menu for the auction today. Yeah, but another thing what you may need to see is this model of Joker. This is incredible, by the way. Wow. Incredible. So, anyway, that's going to do it for the auction line up alrighty y'all so we just got our dinner what we are serving tonight is some nachos so what I got is some black beans I got some shrimp cheese and I got some beef and cheese oh yeah it's gonna be a good dinner so I'm gonna go eat and I will talk to you all soon It just got dark so so I hope you enjoyed the auction now you know now you know how brutal it is for the auction I have in fact missed a little bit of it because I had to go to the restroom and whatnot so what all what other stuff do you think that was featured in the auction what what items do you think you would have won is there a favorite that you like or or is it something that you would want other than the one that you would want to go for so anyway yeah i appreciate y'all watching the auction presentation and so anywho and then just Recently, I just got off of the Texas Giant, in case you didn't see me walking down from that bridge there. So, good ride, but that auction, once again, it can get as brutal as it can get. So anyway, let's enjoy the rest of the evening. Alright, let's go. Alright, so just in case that you do not know where we are, we are at Titan. Look at that. Please enjoy your ride. All right. Insanity. So anyway, it could take a little bit for us to get on the ride. But man, and it is chilly out here this evening. So yeah. So yeah, anyway. Yeah, I still have a feeling that this uh, this coast is going to end early for this whole day only. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but it will soon. You just got to know when you're going to post it. So anyway... suffered a bad headache and I'm getting better right now and yeah it's everything we had a long weekend well had a long day and it was pretty insane so yeah I'm having a great time so yeah anyway yeah it's great so anyway 
we're gonna wait a few trains and then we're gonna get on Titan. So anyway, I will see y'all in a bit. so the performance that y'all have just seen was Viva La Fiesta so that is a park produced show kind of like a final freak out like you see at Fright Fest so so yeah I managed to get one performance on footage so if you want to see the show the show will be going on until May 7th so in case if you ever want to go see the show come see it before the 7th of may so anyway as that being said the park is closed so not for us until 10 30. so anyway ert begins now so anyway how about texas giant let's go all right let's do it ert starts off with texas giant let's go Alright, so our first ERT ride of the day is done with New Texas Giant back row night ride. It was fun. And if you want to go do Shockwave at night, let's go. Alright, yeah, we're heading to Shockwave right now. Three rides later, Shockwave back row all done. Fun oh, I thought, ride. I thought you were talking to me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fun ride. My gosh, we were like throughout the first two rides, it was a train to all to ourselves here. And for our third ride, we had some company, unfortunately. But yeah, it is incredible, man. So again, like for all of y'all watching, if y'all are thinking about or interested in joining American Coaster Enthusiasts, please feel free to join today. We will love to have you here at our events, <laughs> including some of the regional events that you can find on aceonline.org. Register online if interested. We do amazing events on this South Central region. All right, so Superman is up next let's hit it all right so my last ride of the whole day one or the whole event just in case sunday gets canceled so anyway that was flume one the original log flume ellis aradero amazing log flume i have ridden it in the dark before back in 2021 pitch black i'll say that so anyway, yeah, and also, you get a good look at what's going on inside Miss Abby's here. So anyway, yeah, I think that's going to do it for tonight, I believe. Yeah, so thank you. So yeah, I think that's tonight's going to do it. So again... If y'all are interested in attending all these events that what we do, I definitely recommend you join American Coast Enthusiasts. Yeah, it is a great place to connect with other enthusiasts all over the world. So anyway, anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and sign off for this long day of a vlog. So I hope you enjoyed all the tour walkthroughs and and the auction the wild auction so i hope you enjoyed what you see in this video please like share subscribe follow me on facebook and instagram and this is coaster floyd signing off from day one Just, or if the whole event this is coaster floyd signing off and y'all know what to do Y'all keep